last day. Huh? It's Elliot's last day. It's Elliot's last day? Yeah, why is that, Elliot? Elliot? Why? Because nothing lasts forever. That's why. Is that why? Hi, Ruby's World. Here we go. August 5th. Today's a very big day in history. Giant day. So many things that are very, very valid and important have happened on this day, August 5th, in the history of the world. Did you know that? No, but I'm sure we'll find out what all these very important things are. Can we use your iPod? Oh, sure. It's funny that, you know, I always have it on shuffle. It's like only on shuffle. And, um, oh, I'm not even on my mic. Nothing got heard. Oh, well. Hi, guys. It's Ruby's World. And, um, <laughs> sorry, I was talking, and I, I always tell people to talk into their mic, and I totally forgot. Oh, well. So, uh, it's August 5th. Big day, big day in history of this planet that we live on. And um, the first and foremost, most important thing that I think, besides the fact that I just was told Elliot's leaving, our intern Elliot, aw, I don't know how we're going to make it without an intern, but <laughs> besides that, um, so if anybody wants to come be an intern on Ruby's World, come on down. You we will. We have two. Oh, we have two. <laughs> two more besides you, you mean? Okay, well, we have two well, more. Well, that makes up a quarter of an intern then. All right, so anyhow, today. We still need another three quarters of an intern to August make a whole intern. August the 5th. August. Oh, you got, you got. All right, Elliot. August Thank the 5th. Thank you. Thank you, Elliot. August the 5th is the day that Marilyn Monroe passed away. So I want to dedicate this show to the angel of Marilyn who's flying around Ruby's world right now, and um, this is the day they found her, woken up, and um, it's, you know. She probably did more good dead than she would have if she continued to live, don't you think? You mean in her fame thing, you mean? Yeah. Is that what you mean? More good dead? I mean, it depends what you're looking at. I mean, um, you know, it does well, all I mean, go back to Michael Jackson. I mean, and, um, look at Betty Page. What about her? She lived? She lived... So you think Marilyn was like a Betty Page? Well, yeah, sure. Wasn't she bigger than Betty Page? I guess to some. Didn't everyone want to be Marilyn? She was more acceptable in the in the culture at that time. Who, Marilyn? Yeah. And you then know. with her relationship with the president. And, and Joe DiMaggio. Yeah. And she, she always, uh, Neil, whatever. Um, but, you know, I'd be curious, you know, to take a poll of, all, of guys out there. Who would they rather have dated Marilyn or Betty Page and and what's your answer be who would you I would have rather I would have rather dated, dated uh, Betty Page and do you think both of them would want to date you do you think well that's not important oh, that's what's true. important is, is who would what want to date who? is is what who I would have wanted to date now do you do you have any starlets of this day that would um, compare to Betty Page or Marilyn Monroe like that you would pick, no, possibly? No, I wouldn't pick, no. I mean, are there any starlets that compare? I mean, Or that, are, that would be the Betty Page probably, Marilyn of today? Probably Pam Anderson. Wow. Probably uh, Nicole, uh, what the hell's Kidman? her name that uh, passed away? Oh, Anna Nicole? Yeah. I mean, wow. Those, you think of them as those the Marilyn two, Those Monroe? two bimbos probably really come close to comparing to Marilyn. Interesting. See, I don't see it like that. Well, of course you don't, Rue. <laughs> you see things your way, I right. see things my way. I know. Isn't That's that the truth? That's just how it is. On Ruby's world, but we, we, we accept the differences. I don't know if we accept it. I mean, I, I think that's how it is. I think uh, people have a hard time accepting other things. They may they may come off like they accept it, and because, you know, that's like the right thing, the politically correct thing you know, th to do, but I don't know really how much people really accept it when they say they really accept it. Is that true, Mr. B? No, no, I don't know if it's true. I'm just saying that I don't know if people really accept things when they say they accept it. Okay. Really, okay. you know, th you, ha you have to just kind of like, actions kind of speak louder than words. That is true. I, I second, third, fifth, Quadruple you know, there's tons of lip service out there. I couldn't agree. Th I agree with that one, Mr. But, B. But, you know, when things actually do change, 
that's when you know that uh, some some things are people are making an effort. Is when things change. Yes. Is that it? You think so? You want to hear some other remarkable things that did go down on this day, August fifth, or, or or would you like to discuss the weather? Do we have any other information about like music or any musicians or anything like that? Yeah, rocker Billy Idol. Yes. He admitted to the hospital. He was admitted to the hospital on August fifth after a drug overdose on August fifth. What of this? Uh, what, Not this year. I don't do the years. Remember, I just do important tidbits that happen on the date. Of Ruby's World. So today's August 5th. So these are dates of history of the date August 5th. And this has nothing to do with music, but it is National Underwear Day. And it's also National Mustard Day. So I did bring in some kind of treat that we can eat with mustard. That's why I was a little late. I actually went to the supermarket in this neighborhood. I never was there before. And, um,. I get kind of lost in a supermarket because then I start seeing all the things that I want to buy and I'm not there to buy other things and I had to buy mustard. So that's why I strolled in a couple minutes late so I could bring something in for National Mustard Day because that is today, August 5th. And other music. Joan Jett on August 5th formed her band, The Runaways. What do you think of that, B? Her movie's going to be coming out I didn't soon, No, that too. was her band, The Runaways. Well, supposedly her rock band, The Runaways. It says Joan Jett forms her I mean, rock band, The Runaways, on August I knew she August was in 5th. it, but I wasn't aware she actually formed The well, Runaways. Well, they're saying that it was. Hmm. They meaning I don't know who. The, the date police, maybe? I'm suspicious of that. And Stevie Wonder, he signed a $13 million contract with Motown on the date August 5th. Yes. Is that music enough related for you, B? Or the, um, well, it sounds the, like it's music enough the, related. A really big music. A, lo- a lot much more so than Mustard and Underwear Day, don't you think? Uh, it's all a matter of... Uh, so you think Mustard and Underwear has a lot to do with music. Is that what you're saying? It could. And In what sense? I know a song called Mustard Butt. Mustard Butt? Yeah. Uh-huh. I actually know a song called that. Uh-huh. And um, and underwear. Um, I mean, didn't the Red Hot Chili Peppers get famous for no underwear or just wearing like a sock as underwear? Exactly. I mean, you can twist anything however you'd like it to be twisted. Actually, you can twist everything All however right. way you like That's it to be twisted. Fine, I'll twist. I will twist.